Hi, I'm George, and in this Photoshop Elements video, I'll be showing you how to apply graphics on a picture of fabric, in this case a t-shirt, and then have that follow the folds inside of the image. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. When you subscribe, hit that bell notice icon for a couple of times to get the notifications of my new videos, and also to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements. Take a look at my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. For this technique, we'll be using what's called a displacement map to put in the bends in here. And that basically maps the position based upon the light and dark values of an image. And in this case, I'm using black stripes just because it's real obvious to see what it is I'm doing. You can use this for anything that you want. We'll just use these black stripes because again, it's real obvious how this is working out. Okay, I'll start off by getting rid of all the stuff up here that we don't need right now. Let's just delete all of that. And here's our basic t-shirt picture we'll start off with. Now the first thing we need to do is to make a displacement map out of this. Notice how we don't have that much in the way here of variation between light and dark. So we'll be accentuating those differences to give us a better displacement map effect. So let's make a copy of this layer, right click, and duplicate layer, choose OK. There we go. The first thing we need to do up here is to convert this into a black and white layer. So go up here to enhance this, come down to convert to black and white. You want to have one in here that has a good contrast, and I found that newspaper usually works out pretty well. I'll leave all the settings at their defaults right now. We'll push this even further, but this has a good kind of high contrast effect. And you can see this, the folds a bit better in here than we have over here. I go through these, you'll see how it's kind of dark or too light in some of these other ones, and the contrast really isn't there. But newspaper is pretty good for that, so choose OK. OK, now we need to really push the contrast levels in this all the way to their max, pretty close anyway. So go up here to Enhance again, come down to Adjust Lighting, and go into Levels. Now notice that on all of these, I'm doing this stuff right on this layer. I'm not using adjustment layers, and we need to be doing it that way for this particular project. Here's our grayscale. You can see most of the grays in here are right in the mid-range. Here's the blacks, there's the whites. Let's pull the lights in, pull them clear into the beginning of this curve, pull your blacks into the beginning of that curve, and we're getting closer. You see how the contrast is getting better in here? Then just keep on moving these in and get this just about as contrasty as you can get. It'll be in pretty close like this. Once you begin seeing some real solid blacks over here and some really good bright whites, then you've taken it about as far as you need to go. I'd say right in here it looks pretty good. In this image, that's 120 and it is the midtones alone, and then 158 over here for the whites. And then choose OK. Now we need to soften this down so it isn't quite as stark. And we'll do that just by blurring this image out. Pretty straightforward. Go up to filter, come down to blur and the Gaussian blur right here. I have mine set at 20 pixels, which works out pretty well for this. Just kind of softens everything up and choose OK. There we go. Now we need to take this out and save it as a separate file. So hold the control key down and click on the thumbnail for that layer. Notice how that selects just the t-shirt in here. That's just the contents of that layer. Everything else is transparent. So you made our selection. Go up to edit and copy. Let's now go up to file and new blank file. And notice in here that the default is to take it to the clipboard and the clipboard is automatically sized to fit the size of whatever it was that you just selected. So choose OK and then edit paste and there we go. Then then go ahead and save this file. You can save it as a PSD file. That's just fine. So I'll do file, save. I already have one in here right there. So I'll just call this one number two. This would be my texture two. There it is. And choose save. Okay, that's now saved. You can then go ahead and just close that out of the way. There we are. And you can deselect. We'll come back to this in a later step so we can hide that now. And now we're back down to the nice yellow t-shirt. Okay, now we need to make a selection in here. And we'll be using that on our black stripes, but we'll make it right here. So I'll just grab the polygonal lasso tool and I'll set mine at new down here. Feathering can be anything you want. I'll put it at one, which is kind of nice usually. And all I want to have in here is just the front of the t-shirt selected, not the collar and not the sleeves. Our starts will be down here, of course, but I still want to get that stuff just blocked out. So come up here to the top 
and then just go along the edge. I'm going to do it kind of fast here for this particular video. You may want to zoom in and do a little more careful job than I'm doing on this, but I want to get through this fast. So take your time and do a good selection and the whole project will end up looking better at the end of that. But it'll look fine this way for this video as well. So again, I'm just going fast on this just for the sake of the time on the video, but take your time and do a good selection. Let's work on the bottom down here. Notice I'm inside of that shadow. I'm not grabbing the shadow. I'm just staying inside of that shadow up around this side. And then we'll finish that off across the top. Notice also that this t-shirt doesn't have any spots where the fabric is actually folding over on top of itself. That causes problems with this technique. You'd have to go in there and do a couple of displacement maps and a little bit of fancy editing to make up for a folded section. So this t-shirt only has, you know, kind of ridges and bumps in there, but no actual folds over. And that's the kind of effect you're looking for. We'll be staying away from the collar anyway, so I don't have to be really critical about that. Okay, there's our basic selection. Let's now make this into a layer mask. Just click on the layer mask button right there. And that shows us just that middle piece. We don't need this on this layer. So right click and choose disable layer mask. There it is. But we'll use this later on as we put in our black stripes. Okay, let's now do the stripes. First, make sure that your foreground color is set to black right there. And then I'll just grab the rectangular marquee tool up here. Feathering doesn't matter, but I'll give it one pixel again just to help soften the edges up just a little bit. Now we're making a line up here. I won't be doing a line on that bottom edge. That just complicates it. You can do it, but it does complicate it a bit. I just want to keep these things simple. So I'll make a line kind of like this. You can go way off the edges. That's fine. I'll make it pretty wide. Let's make a new layer up here. We'll go up to the new layer button right there. New layer. Grab the paint bucket. We have our black already set. And then just click into that selection. That just fills that with black. Okay, go back to the move tool and let's deselect that. You can move this around if you want to. I'm just going to push it to the left just a little bit. I think right about there looks pretty good. Okay, so now make a copy of this. So right click, duplicate layer, choose OK. And then just pull that one up until the spacing is about the same. So someplace up here looks pretty good. Same thing again, duplicate that layer, choose OK, pull that straight up. About there looks fine. One last time. Duplicate layer, choose OK, and pull that straight up again. If you wanted to do a picture or something else, now is where you'd be putting in your picture instead of doing these stripes. Okay, I'm going to now merge all of this stuff onto one layer. So there's the top layer of the stripes. I'll hold the Shift key down, click on the bottom layer of just the stripes, so only the stripes are selected. Right click, and then come down to Merge Layers. So all those layers are now just on one layer, just like that. Let's go up to Filter, come down to Distort, and Displace right there. Now I have my scaling here set at 50 by 50. You can use different values. You may want to try different values. I put these a little bit on the high side because I want to see as much displacement as possible so you can really see the effect in here. But adjust these values so that it looks good for your picture. I normally keep these the same, but you could go a little smaller on this if you want to. So choose OK. Now choose that file that we just saved. That's right here, the Displacement Map Texture 2. There it is. Choose OK. And what it does is it uses the light and dark values from that saved file to distort the image up and down. And that then matches the shirt. Now the reason why this works and looks correct is because if you have lighting coming in, you're going to have the top spots, the highlight areas will be the higher spots and your shadows will be the lower spots. So it actually tends to work out. That gives you that distortion in there. Okay, there we go. Now we need to get this clipped to fit inside of that shirt. That's where this layer mask down here comes from. So just grab that layer mask, pull it straight up onto this new layer here. And there it is, it's now fitting. The last thing we need to do is just to accentuate the highlights in here on the stripes and also on the whole image as well. And we'll do that with this top layer right here. We'll just blend this into everything underneath and by doing that we can get that nice effect. Now for that you want to blend mode. Come here to your blend modes right here. Come down to screen. It's going to be too much as you can see in there. So we're going to back this off. I'll just bring this down to a much lower setting, about 25 right here. And now there's just enough of that so we see the lights and the darks on top of those lines. Now you don't have to have this on both the shirt and the lines if you don't want to. 
you want to adjust on the lines itself, then right click on this layer and choose Create Clipping Mask. It then only applies the highlights onto just those lines right there. Last little thing in here, notice that I don't have any texture showing through, t-shirt texture showing through onto these stripes. We can bring that in by again using our blend modes right up here. We're on the stripe layer, we'll go up to our blend modes, come down to multiply, and that brings in, notice a color shift in there, that brings in some of that background image into those lines. That will also bring back in some of the texture. Let's now adjust this layer up here. This is our light and dark layer. Bringing a little more opacity on that to get back a little bit more of that undulating effect. And I think right in here looks pretty good, right here somewhere. There we go. So there it is. That's how you can use a displacement map to give the effect of something being printed right onto a piece of fabric. Okay, don't forget if you like the video, hit that like button. Also make sure you click on share as well. And if you haven't already done so, click on subscribe. And again, to really learn how to use Photoshop elements, take a look at my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.